Elder Maravin, Member of Parliament, Moses Lesonet, has issued 30 primary schools with science kits and five-day secondary schools with fully equipped mobile laboratory benches and issued Wezo funds checks to youth and women. Issuing the kits at St. Patrick Shimoni Day Secondary School, Lesonet has said that the kits issued will be able to make the teacher's job easy and each class should have the science kits. The Member of Parliament has also indicated that every primary school in Eldama Ravine will be considered with the 30 primary schools being at start and the remaining 92 primary schools will be catered for, adding that no primary school should feel discriminated since there is a criteria that prioritized the first 30 primary schools picked. Lesonet has promised that the remaining schools will be sorted before the end of this year for secondary schools at district level through day schools to ensure students in different secondary schools have the same facilities who are prioritized. Speaking in St. Patrick's Shimoni Day Secondary School, Lesonet has said that they will push for the disbursement of funds through Parliament to ensure that schools are maintained through payment of bills and not vandalized this time when the children are home due to the pandemic. Touching on matters Constituency Development Fund CDF, Lesonet encouraged the need to see alumni come back and help out the schools that change their lives as it makes their sharing of responsibilities easy by CDF contributing about 80% and the alumni 10 to 20%. Moses Lesonet has also cautioned residents of Eldama Ravine to ensure that they are there to the guidelines given by the Ministry of Health to protect themselves from contracting coronavirus. Through the efforts of the government during the corona pandemic, the Member of Parliament of Eldama Ravine, Moses Lesonet, was accompanied by Eldama Ravine, Member of County Assembly Julius Ngotier while issuing ways of funds for various groups among them Sogon Women Group getting 200,000 Kenyan shillings, Kabartai Women Group getting 200,000 Kenyan shillings and Kasaboda Youth Group getting 400,000 Kenyan shillings among other groups totaling the amount to 5 million Kenyan shillings. Among the schools that benefited from science kits are St. Patrick's Day Secondary School, followed by Kipkoryong Day Secondary School, Kiptuno Day Secondary School, while Damaravin Primary School and Shimoni Primary Schools were among the primary school beneficiaries. Reporting for Baringo News, I'm Janet Kirisuo.